Hello and welcome dear students. Uh, I'm on a regular basis uh, I'm adding videos as per your demands in uh, cesarean workshop and in hysterectomy workshop. Um, uh, now recently your uh, rectovaginal fistula surgery has been done, composed and is going to be added very soon to the hysterectomy workshop, the vaginal hysterectomy workshop. Uh, the other uh, recent um, you know uh, case that I did was on a regular abdominal hysterectomy which has already been added into the abdominal hysterectomy workshop and today I'm bringing you a very very interesting um, demo followed by a live case in which uh, your uh, oft repeated question will be answered. Uh, so many of you wanted this uh, uh, you know a query to be solved how to deliver the fetal head in a normal c-section it's not a free floating head it's not a deeply engaged head it's just a head of a patient who probably gone in labor early in labor but started leaking and now uh, they don't want to take any risk and now they're coming up with for a regular c-section so uh, i've tried to make a demo of uh, with with a you know a specimen the, to make you understand better I hope it uh, you know brings to you the value which you want. It will be followed up with a surgery, uh, which I'll try to uh, make you understand in the live surgery, the same steps to be repeated as I'm doing right now. So I'll try to demonstrate how the assistant should help you and how your hand movement should be in delivering out a head of a baby who's neither free floating nor deeply engaged. Now deeply engaged head is a completely different entity, which I find it probably easier as compared to a free floating head. A free floating head is also a different entity, um, which is more of an assistance, uh, you know, help uh, rather than your own uh, job. But yes, there, there's a trick to, uh, you know, deliver out both these extremes. I'll be telling you towards the end of this uh, video in short but i'll be bringing out a video free floating head i've already brought i think two three videos are already there deeply engaged head also have shown in one or two videos i'll bring you more and right now i'm just giving you a glimpse of a baby who's you know right the head is right beneath the incision line so this is you know a, an actual um of a specimen uh, of fetus is there inside this uh uh this uh you can say this uh, cushion and what I'm trying to do is give you a feel of how the assistant should help you and how your hand movement should be to deliver out the head of the baby. So I have given this incision over here. This is how you do it. One more very important thing which, when I, which I describe every time I've, given, I've shown you the video of C-section is that one assistant should stabilize the, the fundus. All right. So the legs of the, pa the patient are here. The head of the patient is here. And there is one assistant who's just holding the, you know, this uh, uterus. So this is a field. This is the uterus like this. And his movement is like this. Okay. Towards the pubic symphysis so that he's trying to help you, assist you in pushing the head down because here there is a bony eminence and it will not go any, any further down. And he's just trying to help you out in delivering the head. Now I'll show you how your hand movements should be. So... I have given the neck. Okay, I'm sitting and I'm explaining, though you had to stand actually. So I have given a neck. Now, once I've given the neck, what you usually see is not the neck, you see the head of the baby, usually. So this is the head of the baby showing, all right? So what you do is you ask the assistant. First of all, you ask the assistant to, you know, something like this. Yes. This should not be an overzealous attempt because then the angles will give way. Okay, these are the two angles. Can you see? This is the angle and then there is another angle over here. It is going to give way. So the, the force has to be, the see, the, the force has to be like this. Okay, it should not be on the angles. All right. And now since the assistant is helping me out, I now look at my hand movement. I'm going like, so this flap also has to actually go down. But usually no assistant is required over here. You're already, you're, uh, you know, this uh, uh, Doyne's retractor is nudging over it like this. So you take your hand below the, you know, uh, doins, below and inside the uterus like this. Look at my hand. First it went like this and then I'm swooping it out. Suppose it is too high an incision. Ask some assistant to put it like this and deliver like a scooping fashion. I'll show it again. Let, it put, let me put it back again. Let me put it back again. 
So what you do is basically, suppose this assistant is not helping you out properly, even then it's very easy. You know, suppose, so what you have to do is go like this, then like this, and like this. This is how the baby's head with flexion will come out. So don't think it's just a doll, so it's um, sounding easy. Ask, sub, suppose it is nudging. You know, the moment your hand is inside and on the head, ask them to remove the doins. And once the, to see, once it is like this, all you have to do is give a nudge. So I'll show you this in a live surgery. 